Hi folks, this is a review of Latif's catalog for 2024. Uh, this is a PDF one, so I'll just scroll through. Obviously, there's quite a lot of content here, 24 pages in total. Uh, brands include Brothers, which are decent, um, but pretty much all 1.4G. Uh, same with Brightstar, mostly 1.4G. Ultra, some of the videos I've seen are theirs. Um, let's be honest, uh, beyond sort of below mediocre. Uh, Skycrafter, yeah, decent. Uh, and Esco is basically Brightstar anyway, as is Skycrafter is basically Brothers. They're the same, same company, um, just with a different label uh, badged on them. So we'll have a look selection box wise. I don't think there's been many changes here. You still get your buy one, get one free offers, which is probably where the value will come uh, for most of these products in, in terms of bulk buying. Um, that said, I mean, looking at the contents of that one, would you pay 20 quid for that many 13 items? It's, you know, it's more than a pound an item and they're not particularly long lasting. Um, and there's some duplicates in there as well. Um, just to be aware of there, obviously you've got doubles of quite a few things in some of those selection boxes. I mean, as you go up uh, in uh, in uh, price, you seem to get a bit more and a bit more variation. So obviously you get what you pay for in terms of those. So Anthem there, that looks fairly decent. Uh, it's one of the newer additions. They're all 1.4G as you would expect from most selection boxes anyway. You've got some of the bigger boxes there, although it looks like there's some duplicates in that one, to be fair, in the party box. Then uh, you've got the mob selection box. Again, been out a while now. Buy one, get one free. Yeah, so you get, what, six cakes there uh, in the pack. So if you've got two of them, if they're, say, 10 quid a cake, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Yeah, I mean, they're not 10 quid a cake, really. I think they're 12 shot cakes. Um, so there should be less than 10 quid a cake, really, um, for the amount of pyro. Um, if they're anything like some of the smaller ones that they do, like Buttered Moon, then the uh, colour content should be fairly decent in the mob pack. Um, Skycrafter do have some nice colour palettes in some of their smaller bits as well. Be interesting to see how they perform. So buy one, get one free. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad price. You've got the Hitman there. That's a new pack. I've not seen that knocking around before. Uh, so it's 100 quid. It's not buy one, get one free. Let's have a look. Some of those are 25 shot cakes, aren't they? So are they 16 shots above? Can't really make out. If they're 16 shot cakes, they should be about 10 or each. Realistically, it'll be 1.4 G pyro. So yeah, probably there or thereabouts in terms of value. You've got the armory crate there. That's been out a while now. It's all 1.4 though. If you're having a, a back garden display though, be absolutely fine. Um, what else we've got here? So you've got some bigger packs there with some rockets in. Uh, 200 quid for all that. I know it's buy one, get one free. It depends what you want out of your display really. Um, what it does lack in, in terms of uh, content there is cakes. There aren't many cakes, are there, in that selection. So I know you've got rockets, but they're not going to be anything like Warhawks by the looks of them. They look quite small rockets. Uh, so it might be cheaper to look at some of the other deals that they have. Uh, Desert Storm Crate, there you go. That's got more cakes in it, um, but obviously goes up in price. Um if you can, folks, I would personally, I would shop around and look for 1.3G pyro over 1.4G. Um, depends, you know, if you're just having a backyard party and not inviting anyone around, then fair enough. Uh, but if you do want up to up the Anthony, personally, I would go for 1.3G cakes. And there are plenty out there. Um, I used to shop at Latif's. Um, certainly in the days when they used to stock like Celtic Fireworks and some of the more premium brands, um, it was worthwhile going. But now that they stock mostly 1.4G brands, I tend not to uh, purchase anything really anymore. So I have been to Latif's this year, but I didn't buy anything for that reason. Uh, there wasn't just there was just wasn't anything that uh, floated my boat. Um, I mean, you've got this this crate here, so. 
This is from Cube Fireworks. It's nothing to do with the old Cube Fireworks of old. This is, uh, I believe, it's something to do with Benwell, the old Benwell brand that they've bought the name. Uh, so I'm told. Um, some of those I've fired before, so like the the, the aircraft ones. I mean, they're okay. Um, and it's 1.3G. They're okay um, in terms of pyro. Uh, I'm not going to set the world on fire, but um, you won't be disappointed, I don't think, in, in any of the stuff there. Um, I'm still yet to post the videos, though I'm a bit behind with posting. Um, and you've got some Roman candles here. So we've got... That's a nice, I mean, if you want some bits to fill in, because they're sort of buy one, get two free and, and the like, and the value is there. Um, but you just got to remember, most of those are just single shots there on that uh, left-hand side. Uh, still got the atom bombs, the twin bursts. They were great fun. And buy one, get one free. So they're a tenner each. Yeah, it's not a bad price, to be fair. I'll just have a quick swig of tea. So we've got some Roman candles there. Pearl Paradise. I would imagine they're just pearl shot tubes. So what you get? Four in a pack. Don't know how many shots per one. Um, but yeah, it should be lower noise if they're just pearls. Some bigger, bigger um, Roman candles there. Sort of multi shots, three hundred and twenty-five shots. So yeah, still not bad in terms of shot count. It's not going to set the world on fire. They're only one point four G, but should be colourful and a bit of crackle and a bit of whistle maybe. That looks like a new one, Bazinga. Not seen that one before. I've not seen most of these videos, I'll be honest with you. I don't with them being 1.4G, I tend to overlook them. Um so you've got Delta Force there, Stargazers. Yeah, I would try and go for the Warhawk type rockets if I were you. Um and yeah, so now we get to the nitty gritty. So you got your Warhawks there, still buy one, get two. So they're 10 quid a pack. Is that right? 10 quid a pack? Absolute bargain for Warhawks. Still very, very good value. Um, and I, I do like the look. I think it was... Ooh, was it Astro Blaster or Hawk in Hell? Might have been Hawk in Hell. Um, so the Brothers version of Hawks do look quite tempting. Um... I can't remember whether it was Astro Blaster or Hawks in Hell. Um, but certainly uh, some nice different effects, some strobes in there, nice colours. Um, so you've got options above and beyond Warhawks. And if I was to go to Latif's this year, I personally would probably go for something like, you know, some Hawks in Hell, maybe a Shrieker Rocket and some Warhawks for 30 quid. You can't really argue. I think that's quite good value. Even with the Astro Blasters, yeah, I'd probably get a pack of Astro Blasters, a Shrieker Rocket, and some Hawks in Hell just to try them. Um, so, yeah, there is still value here in, in the Rocket section, definitely. You've got a nice Love Heart Rocket there as well. So, normally, I would say for those bigger Rockets, 20 quid a Rocket is probably about the right price. And if you're getting buy one, get one free with the Love Heart ones, I think that's good value. Just got to remember, folks, with the Love Heart ones, they may break upside down, they may break sideways, so it's better to fire more than one so that you get the almost. Now, I can't guarantee you'll get the effect to look like a Love Heart. depends how it bursts. Um, but you've got a fighting chance if you've got more than one rocket going up. Um, so it's nice to see. Nice to see that they do have a bit of variation there. Heat Seekers, I wouldn't be too bothered about, but your Warhawk 2s, yeah, okay, double burst. Tends to be primary burst and then a smaller secondary burst with some peonies in. Not setting the world on fire, they've been out you know, for a good few years now. Uh, however, this pack here, so Crown Jewels, six pack for 60 quid. I think that, depending on the NEC content, which I can't comment on because it doesn't tell you on the form, probably decent, I would say. There's some value there. Um, and then there's always value in the small end of the market here, so I still think buy one, get one free for Angel Dust. It's less than 10 quid a cake, isn't it? 750 a cake or whatever. So, yeah, I would say that there's still some value there uh, for Angel Dust. The Mighty Atom, yeah, I'd stick with Angel Dust personally. 
Um, I think that's a great cake. Good for starting off displays with. You can fire them in multiples as well for more effects. Nice, nice sort of shower of sparks. Uh, your little snappy days on the left hand side there. And the, uh, was it stinging bees? They're all right. They're good fun. If it's buy one, get two free, that's an absolute bargain, folks. I would say great for kids. Kids love that sort of thing as well. So if you're having a garden, garden firework display, I'd recommend those. Still good value on starring, snowflake to avalanche, immortal jellyfish and button moon. All They're only 12 shot cakes. You've got to remember that. Then. Oh, sorry. Starring is a 16 shot. But Snowflake to Avalanche, Button Moon and Immortal Jellyfish are only 12 shot cakes. Um, so they're colourful and they're a bit different, but they are small bore. Um, so you've just got to factor that in. But I still think there's value there at 14 99 uh, If I had to pick out of the ones from Immortal Jellyfish, Snowflake to Avalanche and Button Moon, I'd always go for Button Moon personally. But that's a personal favourite because of the colour combinations. Uh, starring is a bargain I would say buy one get one free lovely colours in starring uh, blues, golds uh, I think it's got red and green as well but we're not really bothered about them because most fireworks tend to have red and green don't they it's a bit boring if they're always the same the ninja series can't remember which one but might be ninja's time maybe I'm not sure uh, there is one that's like a purpley pinky colour that's quite nice so if you can figure out which one of the ninja series has that I would probably go for that as well. Ultimate Battle of Colours. It's not going to set the world on fire, but it's decent price. Can't can't comment on Ragnarok. Not not, uh, not seen that one. You've got Acid Rain, Hurricane and Lightning Strike. I'm yet to try those, but I'll have to try them at some point. Angel Dust XL is probably good value. At 20 quid, it's only 16 shots, but it's some lovely variation. And it's a nice take on the slightly smaller Angel Dust. So it's just like a beefed up version. I'm pretty sure it has some breaks in it as well. Um, from memory, Fall From Grace is fairly decent. But I can get one free. 25 quid, yeah, it's probably good value still. Um, I mean, the Slammer's been out for years. That used to be 10 quid a cake, didn't it? So that's gone up in price slightly. Even with the buy one, get one free. Yeah, they've all gone up in price. Uh, head games. I did see a video for that, and that's got swimming serpents in, so something a bit different, a bit of variation. Uh, the only downside is smaller bore cake. It's only 1.4G. It's just the effects don't hold in the sky as well as 1.3G or slightly bigger bore fireworks. Um, so it's a head game is okay, something a bit different. It just doesn't hold the sky very long and there's not so much colour in it. Um, the others I can't really comment on, but I can comment on Throne Snatcher and Solidarity. Personally, I go with Solidarity. Massive uh, bursts, lovely sort of gold effects, decent hang time as well. Um, quite capable. Uh, Bruce Wee is quite capable, mixed effect cake. Uh, can't comment on crazy days. Um, probably at about the right price point if you buy one get one free. This is where the but the the sort of the the value comes in, folks. I wouldn't bother with the selection boxes. I would I would be going for more more of these types of things if you can afford it. Uh, just a better impact. You got champion there. That's one point three G. I'll probably have to watch the video for that just to see what it does. Screaming wildcat. If you like your missile cakes. Um, then you've got those, it's just, I don't know, they're an acquired taste. Um, but yeah, still probably some value there. It's buy one, get one free. Can't comment on these. These are only 1.4G. If you're buying bigger bore stuff, or you're looking at a slightly bigger display, try and track down 1.3G. Personally, like power and attraction there, I'd probably gravitate that as a punchy cake. Uh, as is Proton Bomb Extreme, really good. And it's buy one, get two free. So it's still 10 quid a piece, which I think is excellent value. So even if you're doing a bigger display, I'd probably squeeze that in if you're on a budget. Um, but yeah, these are all punchier cakes here now, what we've got. Not sure about the Dark Knight. That's only one for 
and so is toxic so i'd probably have to watch those videos before making a comment glycerin heights has been around for a while it's okay but it's not going to set the world on fire um reduces gaze yeah, these are all one four 1.4 g so just the thing i find with 1.4 g is the burst sizes just aren't as big they're not as rounded um don't get me wrong they're still they're still okay but if you're doing a more organized display um i'll just try and get one three if you can there's some bin lids there i'm not going to comment on them i'm not a big fan of bin lids battle of midway still hanging around a um, little show in a box that one and it's a fan barrage so you you do get um a sort of more sky filling effect and it used to be 25 quid or thereabouts i think it's probably cheaper than the range here i think the range is slightly more money so yeah you're getting slightly better value um wait to see on the ranges catalog but i would imagine latifs will beat them on price um the rest i can't comment on there you all seem to be new additions and I'm not familiar with the brand Extreme. Yeah, so I can't really comment, folks, on those. I really don't know if they're any good or not. So if you can find the videos, I would probably check them out. Cube Fireworks are a bit of an enigma. Some of them are quite good. Some of them are a bit mediocre. Um, so again, just watch the videos, I would suggest. Thunderbolt's still going. If you like a bit of noise, that's okay. Um, but, but, but not seen any of these to be honest down here. Lion King's been out a while, I think. Uh, Night Sky Storm's okay. Got Rip and Roaring there. So you buy one, you get one free. So they're 25 quid a piece. Yes, yeah, good price point. Uh, fireworks Crazy Mini. Ah, I think that may have gone down slightly. No, sorry, it's gone up in, in price slightly. If you've got a small garden, it's fine. If you've got a big garden, you would be better. I don't know if they do the full-on fireworks crazy one. The mini version's just a bit tamer uh, and more geared towards smaller gardens. So if you've got a small garden, absolutely fine. Big garden, it's going to look a little small. Um, don't know about those. Can't comment on them. Try forks. I think I saw that video. It looked okay. Fireworks crazy. Unfortunately, I think you used to be able to get. I can't remember the offer now. Was it were they about forty quid a piece back in the day? I think was it two for eighty back in the day. So that's gone up in price, but it is a very capable cake. I quite like that, even though it's one four. Quite punchy cake. So it's nice to see it still kicking around because you can't find fireworks crazy many places. Wrath of the Gods looks okay, to be honest. Never had it, but the video looks okay. Been out a good while now. Uh, Bright Star do need a proper refresh, really, of their inventory. I know there's a few things creeping in that's new. It needs a little bit more. Hercules Mini. Buy one, get one free at 70 quid. I'd be a bit disappointed in that if it was a real the real Hercules version, then yeah, absolutely. Not sure if there's value in that, folks, in Hercules Mini, to be honest. Um, some more cube bits there. Always check the video before getting those, folks. I just find that they're quite small bore, some of their bigger cakes. Um, so you think that they're going to be really beastly. And then it turns out that the, the tube sizes are quite small and it doesn't really perform as you'd expect. I was a little disappointed in some of them. Um, I'm still yet, I'm really behind on doing videos of them. I will post them. Um, the rest of them that I fired, I think it was 12 months or well, more than 12 months ago now. And then big bin lid cake there. Yeah, it's buy one, get one free. It's not a bad price point. Uh, these ones, yeah, I can't really comment on them. Yeah, not sure. But yeah, I mean, there's a massive range here. There's plenty to go at, isn't there? Colossus I had way back when. Um, I don't think I bought it from Latif. I think I got it from the range. I probably wish I had bought it from Latif now because 50 quid 
per cake because you could buy one get one free I think that's there's still value there yeah still value there hijack is a good one I'm sure when that first came out I'm sure I got a hijacker from Latif's for 25 quid I think so that's doubled in price um, I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure I got hijacker ones for twenty five pounds. I know I know shipping's gone up and 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 VAT and all them everything else. So it, it takes its toll, but that has doubled in price, hasn't it? From when it first came out. Um, at that price point, though, if you're talking fifty quid a cake, it's probably it's probably still good value. To be fair, it is a nice piece. I'm going to fire it this year in my pro display. I'm going to stick that at the beginning. Get people's attention um so yeah it's, it's still capable still a good price point insane warpath they're okay absolutely okay uh for a 1.4 cake they're quite capable the big show's been out a while now again cube zeus can't comment on or apollo i would just check the videos it says they're 1.3 g though so they should be punchy it just depends on the tube size um 25, 30 mil, absolutely fine. 20 mil with 1.3 G might get away with it. Depends what you want, folks. It's horses for courses. Beat Thy Neighbour's been out a good few years now. Still quite a good price point. Uh, what else we got? Again, yeah, I can't comment on Elite or Extreme. It's not something I tend to keep my eye on personally. We're going through, so we've got slightly bigger cakes here now. Are they compound cakes? Looks like it. I should really do my research. I'm a bit out of the loop. Yep, no idea on those folks, sorry. Uh, yep, no idea. Some more brothers kit there. The Godfather's been out a while. It's one four, but it should be large bore, so you probably should probably be fine with those. And they've got a sequel, Godfather two. Who knew? Maximum Showtime, Big Boss. Again, that, I'm pretty sure that's gone up in price. I'm sure you used to be able to get that for around a ton. It's now 150. Um, so yeah, there's there's been some inflation there, but it's still still a capable series. The only thing is, it's not a compound barrage. It's four individual fireworks. So you're going to have to light yourself. Um, so yeah, would it be better to get one of these compound cakes potentially? Athena and Poseidon it says, wow, I don't know, maybe a hundred quid a cake is, is reasonable. Um, yeah, I think you get slightly better value in the smaller pieces for some reason. Um, but still, still good price point. And it's one three. Yeah, I can't really comment on these folks. I tend to shop now more at the all year round stores. Just, it just seems to be a bit more variation. Uh, Goliath, yeah, can't really comment on. Primeval's been out. I think Primeval's okay. As it says, yeah, okay. Not sure about that cube one, don't really know. Juggernaut from Elite, can't really comment on. Pearl 1.4G, you got the greatest show in there. Massive cake, absolute beast. Uh, it's less than a quid a shot, isn't it, by quite a way. Um... I just don't know about the tube sizes, folks. But if you just, you know, you want to light something and leave it, then there you go. It's 600 quid, though. It's a lot for one firework. Uh, Leaping Lizard's been out a good few years now. That's quite good value. It's buy one, get one free. So you're talking a fiver per item. Absolute steal still. You got your Funky Frog. Again, that's 20 quid, and then I know it's buy one, get one free, so it's 10 or each. So I suppose, yeah, I suppose it's okay. Grin and bear it. Again, it's just uh, greens and reds and lots of crackle. Um, the face lights up at the end, as does Alien and the Funky Frog. So for kids, I suppose it's okay. I just, I just wish there'd be lots of uh, lower noise sort of effects, certainly in the kids' fountains. I just find the crackle is sometimes a little bit too for ferocious for kids. Uh, ooh, Paradise in the Sky, did I see that one? I thought that looked quite good. If it's the right one. 
I'm not sure. I have to rewatch the video for that one. You got sparklers here. They are what they are. Personally, I would go for the uh, the bottom one here. These um, what are they called? The the ones, the handheld fountains. I think they're great. I think they're slightly safer than um, sparklers. They're not tiny little pieces of wire um, with some pyro on the end of it. Do you actually have a handle? Uh, they just feel a bit more safe and um, and there's quite a gentle fountain that comes out and they come in different colours I think it's just a little bit more varied obviously you can't stand right next to each other with them because they, they do emit a shower of sparks um, upwards so you don't want to sort of be standing very close to people but I think they're great little things um, and, and every brand seems to do them now um, so yeah they're Something interesting and a little bit different. You got your wheels here. Sadly, not many wheels on the market there. Um, still all right value. I personally, I go for the bigger ones that have a bit more spread. Um, ones that shower of sparks rather than just a, a like a coloured Bengal flare that spins around. And you just get the circle effect. Something that has a good spread still holds its own. I think there. I know they're an acquired taste in the. Seems to be a dwindling market for the humble Catherine wheel, but I do like a good Catherine wheel. Got smoke flares there. And that's pretty much it, folks. So, yeah, there's still some value at Latif's, to be honest. Um, yeah, yeah, perfectly fine. If you're on a budget, um, I would just, if you're having a more organized display, just make sure you go through and watch their videos before you purchase, because some clearly are better than others um, as a general rule. So there you go. I did, I did, like I said, I did go to Latif's earlier in the year and I did take a short video, but I haven't posted it yet. So I will, I'll stick it on, but I won't be doing a